already told you that until I see the money, there's no offer on the table. Fuck that. Excuse me? No, I don't. And don't you touch me! Bridget, you're just not seeing this clearly. So let's do it like this. The weapons that we use to defend our country, if they were to fall in the hands of, let's say, the bad guys, they could utterly destroy us and all of our citizens. So ensuring that the guns stay out of the hands of the bad men should be of highest priority, should it not? Do you think there is a way to control this? Every time the government has tried to control anything, it has failed. Be it drugs, uh, alcohol, pretty much anything they've ever tried, right? That's because we are dealing with an absolute. You cannot control everything all the time. You may be able to control some things some of the times, but you cannot control everything all the time. There is always leakage. I get that, but we know, all right? We know that they're selling this technology to the highest bidder. And for God's sakes, they're already ordering new bodies. No, I, I don't understand how this is even a conversation. There's just no reasoning with you, is there? None at all. Someone, anyone, please help her see the damage that this company would suffer if we were to derail this deal. Please, anyone, speak up. How about down there? Hey, you guys awake down there? Anyone? Magnus. Look, you know my stand. If this would have been available just three years ago, my wife could have had a second chance. We simply can't stop right now. We can't stop right now. The purpose of developing this technology was never so that we could play God, Magnus. Oh, shit. No, I'm sorry. But I suggest not only do we not move forward with this merger, but we should be pursuing further investigation into Intragenetica. What we have suspicions of is not only frightening and immoral, it is also very illegal. And I'm very concerned so many of you are still wanting to move forward. My father founded this company. He had a very strong moral compass, as do I. And I will not be moved. I vote no. This meeting is adjourned. Yeah. Adjourned. One, two, three, four, five, six. Always let your heart and gut guide you. Your brain is not the best place for decision making. Nice and warm. 
Thanks. Thanks again. I'm not so used to people caring. It means a lot. Yeah. I hear you. What were you doing down there anyway? Long story. Well, I got time. Look. I don't want to bore you with my life. It's not a very, it's not a very motivational story. Well, you see, maybe that's just it. The story isn't over yet. The best is yet to come. Maybe. You don't say much, do you? I guess. I guess I'm not much of a talker. Well, if you want to be friends, we can talk a little bit. See? Tell me something about you. I'm replaceable. Man, I don't know. Bridget's got the veto vote. So what next? I told you this was coming. We need to arrange for a little accident, like I said in the first place. Come on, Oliver. It's a little drastic, don't you think? Well, we're running out of time. And frankly, we're running out of options. Do you have a better idea? I, I can talk to her again. All right. Here's the deal. You do that. You talk to her. But if you don't get anywhere, I will decide our next move. All right, give me a few days. You have two. Okay, all right. But you don't have to take this stand. It doesn't have to be your fight. No, it didn't have to be my fight. But they made it my fight. What am I supposed to do, Mark? Just pretend I don't know what I know? No, I can't do that. Obviously, you know what you know. But what about everyone else? Why can't they do this? Why you? My father said something to me when I was little. You know what that was? Yeah. yeah. The, the way, way you, you do, do anything, anything is the way you do everything. <laughs> and that's a great philosophy, but... No, honey, there are no buts. How could I look Miranda in the eye if I let this go? Hey, I'm not hungry. I'm late today. They brought brownies. I probably already eat three. Everything okay? Yeah. Yeah, no, I we're just talking word talk, that's all. Okay. You got yeah. practice? Yeah, later. Don't be late. I will. I gotta do this. Okay. I believe in you. Oh, about it? Hey, it gives you an extra second. Yeah. You gotta count those seconds. Hey, whatever happened to Nina? I don't know. I don't know this bullshit. I don't believe in that tell shit. Why you gotta be so cynical? Life. That's why, all right? How about you tell me your fairy tales? Huh? I'm waiting. How about you, Sid? <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. 
That's not fair. It's all just some facade that people get trapped in until the monster shows up. Yeah, you know it. Maybe not all, but we're all broken. And when you put two broken people together, eventually they'll start breaking each other. <laughs> Listen to little Miss Positivity over here. <laughs> he was fine, though. He was. Oh, he was fine. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Does that make it worth it? Huh? Breaking your heart? Those looks? I ain't saying all of that. Sometimes all it's right. worth it. <laughs> There you go, man. Thank you. You're welcome. Here you go. I hope it helps your day. Thank you. I'm sure it will. Why did you do that? You do what? Give money to the bums and crackheads. You know, they're probably just gonna buy booze or drugs with that later. I don't really think about that part. I mean, he's in need and I have access, so why wouldn't I try and give a little? <laughs> if you want to fuel his drug addiction, be my guest. You don't even know that. So judgmental, me. You know, let's find out. Wait, what? Come here. Let's watch him. Okay, you want to watch a homeless guy just to prove a point that he'll just waste the money? Are you serious? You're just nervous because you know I'm right. No. You know what? Fine, let's do it. Uh, what are you guys doing? Uh, maybe. What are we doing? Uh, uh. Bridget. Come on, Bridget, please. What, David? Back off. Let it go. What? Yes. All of that. I mean, why can't you? So a, a few rich people potentially live forever. So what? Is it one already too many? If you don't listen, I can't help you. Now, do you really think their rich and powerful people are gonna let you steal their holy grail when it's right there in front of them? Who gets to decide where it ends? Who gets to decide whose life is precious enough to save and whose isn't? How can you not see the repercussions of this, David? How can you look your family in the eyes and tell them that you stood behind this? Look, all I'm saying is if you don't change your position, I can't protect you. Are you threatening me? Huh. <laughs> After all our years of friendship, you dare to stand there and threaten me because I have the balls to stand up for what is morally right. No, no, I'm saying I can't protect you. I swear, Bridget, you don't even understand what you're up against. Maybe I don't, maybe I don't, but I know who I'm standing up for. Oh. No, I know what kind of a world I wanna leave behind for her. Her, David, your godchild. Bridget.
guys. Got us some grub. I feel like such an idiot. You should. It's terrible, you guys. Okay, that's what everyone says. If everyone lies the same lie, it's still a lie. Yeah, I know, I know. I just kind of feel bad. We should do something nice for him. Yeah, sure, I agree. But, like, what? <laughs> I don't know, maybe Baker cook something really good? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. David, listen, I talked with her. I mean, I tried, but she's not gonna change her mind. I don't know what they'll do, Mark. Well, I can't fire her, so. No, you don't get it. That's the least of what I worry about. What then? Spread lies and rumors to discredit her? You don't understand what we're dealing with here. These are some of the most powerful people in the world. And she's about to spoil their attempt at life everlasting. I think they'll do anything to protect that. I do mean anything, Mark. Wow. Okay. I'll talk with her. I'll try again. But you know Bridget. Yeah. Maybe, uh, maybe we need protection. Security. Mm-hmm. Trust me when I say there's nowhere you can run or hide that these people can't reach. I'm here as a friend. Remember that. It's out of my hands now. Thanks for the warning. Yeah, I'm sorry. <clears throat> okay, I'll walk you out. Check. Hmm. Looks like I'm in trouble now. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> what are you gonna do about it? Check. And me. Yeah, good game, Corey. So, you gonna do this next week? Yeah, sure thing. And next week. Away. You always say that. I can't blame a guy for trying. Hey. Hey. You don't give up easily, do you? Should I? Well, I'm not much of a talker. Remember? Strong, silent type. I like it. <laughs> I just think he's a slow starter. <clears throat> Stacy? Yes. Don't you have something to do? Nope. Okay, can you go find something to do? Why do you even bring me? Fine. All right. Bye. So, what do you want? To get to know you. You are the first seemingly decent person that I've met. So I'm curious. I didn't know I'm not just pretending. That's a good question. A con man wouldn't just risk his own life to protect a street girl or share his food with people in need, play chess with a lonely old man, and lose on purpose. Who says I lose on purpose? So, coffee? Yeah. The target is Bridget. She's to be taken alive and unharmed. Anyone else is nothing but collateral damage and is expected. Security? As far as we know, nothing. Except her husband. Okay. Get me to the end of the day. We'll pick up some patterns and uh, We'll likely grab her on our way to or from work tomorrow. Uh, no, absolutely not. We are not going to mix work into this. I'd rather it look like a kidnapping 
for ransom or take her in her home. No, not a good idea. Best the place with the most variables and the most security. Mm -mm. Look, as I explained, this is urgent. And I need you to do this without complaining about the rules. That's why there's $5 million in it for you and your boys. Savvy? In theory, this sounds great. The problem is, what am I going to do with $5 million if I'm, if I'm dead or in jail for that matter? Guess I chose the wrong crew. Uh, uh, hold, oh, hang on. 10 million. Five now, five upon completion of the mission, and we'll take her in her home. Hey, I'll support you and stand by you whatever decision you make. But I am serious. This is some scary shit. We're gonna need security. I think you might be right. Good. I made a few calls. They're on their way. I, do you really think that... Don't you think we might be just blowing this completely out of proportion? I, I hope you're right. Where is she going? Uh, I don't know. Hey. Hey. Where are you going? Oh, we may have just running out oh. for a little. Okay, well, be back by dark, all right? When I came home, I was lost. I expected to come back to the love of my life. Instead, I was handed divorce papers. On top of that, I found out she was engaged to another man. Wow. It's her loss. I didn't have anything left. No home. No family. And then I'm expected to pick up the pieces. I couldn't even find a job that would afford me a place to live. So I started sleeping on the streets. And people look at you like you're a bum. I'm not a bum. I'm a human being. And I'm out there, and I'm fighting, clawing and scraping, just to survive. And then, I just didn't see the point. I didn't feel like fighting anymore. I just about quit life. Hey, so uh, we made some food for you and anyone else you want to share it with. You made this? Mm-hmm. For me? Yeah. Never cooked so much in my life. <laughs> it's really kind. I also grabbed some of my savings. I was gonna buy crap that I didn't really need anyways. Hey, I, I mean, thank you for the food, but... Can't take your money. I'll just leave it on the ground. I'll just go to waste, I guess. What am I supposed to do here? I think she made that pretty clear. How old are you guys? I'm 17. 16. Um. What Corey is trying to say is thank you. You're welcome. Hey. Thank you. Tell your parents they did good. I wish there were more people in the world like you. Be a better place. No, 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 don't listen to these rumors. God damn it, I am still managing this project. 
and I promise you I will continue to do so. All right. I apologize. But I hear Bridget wants us to hold off and stay on the cadavers until at least the Ethics Committee can clear us to go forward. Don't you know that we have a chance to be trailblazers here? We can make mortality a thing of the past. We can give someone or anyone everlasting life. I mean, don't you get it? It would be immoral not to. I mean, I, I, we must push forward on this. Even the best invention in the wrong hands can, can be turned into a weapon of sorts. Uh, we need to make sure that we're on the right side of history. I agree. But these hands are the right hands. If we have to break a few eggs to make the omelet, we'll do so. Exactly. Sophia, you know, I believe with all the stem cell technologies and the research and everything they're doing right now, trust me, we'll be soon growing our own bodies. And nobody, nobody needs to die to get a new shell. I don't know. Look, even now, the people we are scheduled to work on are in all legal terms brain dead. And the brains are in terminally ill bodies. That's the whole thing. We are giving people a chance at new life. Uh, Sophia, what if your mother had a degenerative disease? Uh, now she has a second chance. Magnus, the same thing. You know, not only should we continue to do this, we must continue to do this. Yes. We have to. We have to. Oliver, I would like to see Bridget's signature. Or at least hear her endorsement on this. Not a problem. She's on board. It just takes her a little more time to process things. We really needed this. Yeah. Yeah, we did. God, I cannot wait for this stress to be done. Honey, let's try not to talk about it. Let's just uh, forget everything and relax. You're right. Do you want to watch something? Yeah, sure. Is Miranda still up? Oh. Mira? Leave. We have to text our own daughter when we're at home together. Came to my house. Hey, hey, slow down. I can't understand you. Breathe. Now, what happened? Are they awake yet? I don't think so. Yeah. Yeah, we got the packages. Good. Further instructions on the way. Unload them. Hey. 
Hey, what happened here? Not quite sure yet. I'm friends with the family. Are they safe? You're a friend of the family. Oh, my clothes. Sorry. I just got back from camping. Family's missing, and the security guards are dead. Oh, shit. I hope they're okay. Trust me, if these guys wanted them dead, they'd be dead. So the fact they're gone is the better alternative. I guess. and you won't get hurt. Do you understand? Yes, but I got a couple. Shut up! We will not engage with you unless it's about pissing, eating, or fucking drinking. Follow those simple rules, you might survive this. Miranda, where is she? Was I not clear, bitch? Hey! Hey! hey. hey. Oh. Hopefully I cleared it up. Don't! Fuck with me! This makes us operational, correct? No, uh, not just yet. You have to give me another couple of days. Well, with Nikita's help, we should be able to move faster. Dr. Hermanson. We're breaking so many laws right now, Oliver. Mm. Are you absolutely certain about this? Nikita worked on the original draft. Then she went to Entrogenetica. So she knows what she's doing. She's an expert. She could only help. And I must admit, I am excited. Mm. When will it be ready for trials? I'm still awaiting clearance on human trials, but we have done primates very successfully. All I can say is get it done. Understood? There has to be something we can do. I don't know what that would be. Miranda, these guys were professionals. We don't even know who they are. Yeah. We really just need to get you to family as soon as possible. I don't really have any family. I mean, my grandpa's in New York, and my mom's sister's in Miami. We're not close. I don't think I'd be safe. Do you have any idea what this was about? Not sure, but probably has something to do with my mom's work. I've been stressing over it a lot lately. What does she do? She's the CEO of Bioengineered Research Ventures. Sounds oddly familiar. Yeah, they did the first head transplant. They were on to something, but my mom wasn't on board. My parents were talking about it, stressing over it. So I'm guessing it's some kind of big deal. That's wild. Yeah, I think I remember hearing about that. They had some guy with a degenerative disease, and they put his head on the body of some brain-dead dude, right? Yeah, something like that. They've been doing that ever since. Something else happened, and I don't know why. That's unbelievable. When I was in Afghanistan, I watch people lose legs and have other debilitating injuries. This could give them a new body and a new life. Yeah, but now the richest of the rich have their fountain of youth. And I'm not so sure it's good to play God. 
I'm sure there are plenty of people out there that are willing to just use this as some Stephen King's pet cemetery, and that is kind of creepy. Well, that makes this all a bit more complicated. Why is that? Because they're likely looking for her. And they don't care who they take out to get what they want. I appreciate your perspective on this, Clive. I really do. Oliver, I understood William's vision for this company. For us, better than anyone except perhaps uh, Bridget. Hmm. And I remember holding her in my arms the day after she was born. Well, who's to say what William would have wanted in today's world? We can't speculate on what William would do. He'd want what's right. Well, William and I were close, but not like you two. But I did see his vision and his passion for life. Excuse me, gentlemen. Oliver, we need to talk. I'm sure we're just wrapping up, and uh, seems like it's pretty urgent, so, gentlemen. Thank you, sir. Suppose you've heard. Of course I did. Are you out of your mind? Guns, kidnapping, murder? I told you I would do it my way if you failed doing it your way, right? Yeah, but I didn't know that you would go this far. You didn't think that I would wait forever, did you? Two people are dead. The whole family is missing. Tell me they're still alive. Of course they are. And I will let them go as soon as we complete the merge. Merge? Bridget has the veto. She already voted no. I know. But in her absence, the board has the authority to cast her vote. And it's looking like it will be unanimous. Yeah, well, yeah. Ken will never vote yes. Maggie's not in favor. And Thomas would never vote against Bridget. No way. I would not be too sure. My negotiating skills are a lot better huh. than that. Yeah, well, you couldn't convince Bridget now, could you? She doesn't have a vote. Frankly, I'm not convinced I'd vote with you. Yes? You have all three packages. No, I have the two large packages. What's the status on the little one? I'm not sure. It must slip through the cracks somehow. We'll find it. I thought you said it didn't matter. I said find it. I'll see what I can do. better on you anyway. It's weird to see myself like this. I like it. Be careful. They're after her. I'm sure of it. Yeah. We'll lay low. But you need to be careful. I don't take any stupid chances. She's a kid. She's gonna turn up. I checked her family. She's got two living relatives. Neither one of them are local. Well, I'll see what I can find. All right, and uh, I'm gonna need you to babysit them. You know I don't do that shit. Yeah, but we gotta find the girl. Fine. All right, we don't talk to them. We don't engage with them. We're here for seven and a half million dollars, right? right? Hi. Hi. I have a 345 with Bridget. You know, she's not in today. 
Can I ask what this is regarding? Maybe I can redirect. It's about a charity case. She wanted to meet about our Wounded Warriors program. Okay. Let me see if I can find somebody else to help you. Okay. Sure. David? Yeah, there's a gentleman here. Said he had a 345 with Bridget. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Hello. Hi. Hey, uh, this is not a very good day around here for us. Maybe you should come back another time. Uh, I already met with her, and she was giving her a corporate donation today, so... Uh-huh. I'd really like to have that before I go. Hey, I don't know if you heard, but, uh, us veterans aren't doing so hot up there. I really used that one. Yeah, yeah, like I said, it's not a good day. Yeah, so... When, when, when is a good day? I mean, what the fuck's it gonna take? I mean, okay. what, do we have to start killing ourselves when we get back from serving? Do we put up with the half-assed care that takes forever to get to? Okay, or man, what about the lack of mental and emotional support just okay, to deal with man. what we've seen? Ease up. How much? How much was she gonna give? $100,000. Hmm. Hold on. Oh, and yeah, she said she'd dedicate your work to severely injured veterans. Hmm. Now, who are you? I am a veteran with the Wounded Warriors Project. Uh huh. Sir. Uh huh. All right. Come with me. Now, who are you exactly? I'm a veteran. I'm here on behalf of the Wounded Warriors Project. <laughs> no. No. Yeah, I don't think so. Because if you, if that was the case, you would have the press here with you. And, and it would be a calendar event for us here, and it would be on my schedule, which it is not. So again, who the hell are you? Just a concerned friend who stopped by your house. A friend? Oh, good. I should know you then. Because you see, Bridget and I have known each other for over 40 years. I don't remember seeing you at any family functions. So how close would you say you two are? Not really for a long time. David, I'm gonna level with you. Level with me? No, okay. You see, Bridget was actually looking to hire me as security. Now, <clears throat> now why would Bridget suddenly need security? If you two were so close, I'm sure you'd know. I don't know what you're up to or who you really are, but maybe security David, can help David, you get some I, clarity let me... on that. See, you don't want to pay? No, I do, but can you just... Do you have to piss or not? I don't have the patience for this bullshit. Done. 
Oh, you think I enjoy this? Go flatter yourself, bitch. Oh. I got it. Hi, Detective Sharp. I just need to ask you and your parents some questions. Honey, who is it? Uh, it's a cop. Uh, detective. Sorry. I'm, um, uh, I just have to ask you a couple questions at all. Uh, sure, can, can I get you something to drink? No, thanks, I'm good. I just have to ask you, do you know anything about Pellegrino kidnapping? Just what we've heard in the news, I'm afraid. Hmm. Well, we've been informed that likely the young daughter, Miranda, has escaped and may be hiding with some friends. And these men are after her. We haven't seen her, right, May? No. No. Well, it's urgent that we do find her before these kidnappers do, as they are armed and dangerous. No idea where she could be. No. I mean, if she escaped, she'd probably be here, and she's not. Well, sorry for the bother. Thank you. I'll be seeing myself out. Do you have a card with a number we can call in, in case we hear something? <laughs> you know, I think I might have left him in my other coat. But I can get back to you, OK? That's OK. Um, what's your extension and your name again? It's Officer Sharp. Extension 146. D Detective Sharp. Detective Sharp, yes. Extension 146. Jesus. You could ring the doorbell. Sorry. So? Do you know David at your mom's work? Uh, yeah, why? Is he close with your mom? Yeah. Would you trust him? I mean, as much I was, as I trust anyone right now, I, I guess. But they go back? I, I doubt he'd do any harm to any of us. He pretty much comes to any of the family functions. OK. Well, I'm headed back out. But a few things before I go. You ever use one? Yeah, my ax. He brought me to the range. Good. Show her how to use it. Where are you going? To see if David's our guy. Easy. Nothing stupid. I should have known you were involved. Involved with what? With Oliver. Are they okay? Please, at least tell me they're still alive. No, you got it all wrong. I'm not the guy you need to be concerned with. Miranda said I can trust you. So I'm giving that a try. She said that? Yeah. I couldn't stop him. Oliver, the merger, the whatever plans they have out. I know very little about this situation, but if I'm going to help, I need to know what you know. Do you mind? It's a long story, but um, okay. We're the uh, we're the lead research company in the transplanting of human human heads, and we did a, a prototype with Intragenetica, essentially downloading the brain and then planting that in another host brain and body. Well, we found out that um, after some successful trials, they were keeping a waiting list of people, and they weren't exactly people in need, if you know what I mean. And um, they weren't waiting for bodies with non-functioning brains. They were actually ordering their new perfect bodies and faces and... Bridget said no. Yeah, uh, yeah. Bridget's always done you know, everything for all the right reasons. She learned that from her father. So yeah, yeah, she, she used her veto to stop the merger and it slowed him down, but I believe she was, she was considering exposing them. Now, I tried to talk some sense into her, but she's just so... Honorable. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I was gonna say stubborn, but... 
Okay. Uh, I better get that. Hide back there. Okay. Nothing stupid. Tell them what they want to hear. I hope I'm not interrupting. No, I was thinking about that. Have a nightcap. Have them go to bed. I thought I should drop by and see if everything's all right with you. Anybody else here? Uh, no, no, just me. Why? Just curious. So, how are you voting? You know, it's tomorrow. It, it just seemed you were a bit unsure. Well, I, no, no, I, I, I was just frustrated. Yeah. frustrated. Yeah, I, yeah, I was frustrated, and uh, I shouldn't, I'm sorry, look, I really shouldn't have, I apologize. I apologize, and, and I will, I will vote yes. You're going to vote yes. Of course. That's good. That's very good, because I would hate to lose another executive. I'd have to do all of your work as well. It's a nice place you have here. You should have me over sometime, maybe for a nightcap or something. It's just an idea. Good night to you. Water and we haven't gotten anything yet. Well, it's not here yet, bitch. So, what the fuck do you want me to do about it? Shut up, or I will fucking shoot him. Mamacita, ¿cómo estás? Hey! Where's the fucking food? I'm gonna stay here a couple more days and watch things. Do not go to lose it on these two. You scared me. These are scary times. What are you doing here? What the hell? <laughs> My associate. He's a bit eccentric, wouldn't you say? Now, Mr. Pomeroy, where were we? Oh, yes, that's right. The vote tomorrow. What about it? Well, you haven't seemed to be in favor, so I thought I'd have one last opportunity to convince you. You will not get a unanimous vote, Oliver. I'm sure there are others like me that morally can't do this. Not to mention, Bridget would never go for this. Don't be so sure. I visit every one of you old dinosaurs tonight, and you're the last one left to convince. Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. I'm sorry, you're wasting your time. Listen, I don't know, and honestly, I don't care what you do with me. You will not get my vote. I was here when William started his company, and I know. The, the fuck you do? Fuck him. Yeah, but Jesus Christ, there are cameras everywhere. Oh, yeah, they are. Yeah. They have your face, Oliver. Well, let's get out of here. 
Hello? Hey. Hey, it's me. Wait. Are, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay, but hey. Don't tell anyone that I called you. There was a guy here earlier. He was looking for you. He had a badge and said he was a detective, but I'm, I'm not so sure. I don't know who we can trust. Okay. Where are you? Remember Corey, the homeless guy? I figured no one would know, and I wouldn't risk anyone's life. He killed our security, and I don't know what happened to my mom and dad. I'm sorry. Yeah. Some kind of special forces or something. Well, I guess that's needed right now. Right? Yeah. And his girlfriend. Or something, I guess. Where are you, Mira? I don't think it's safe to tell, but don't worry, I'm safe. And I should probably hang my phone up right now, but seriously, don't tell anyone. Not even your mom. Okay, I promise. Be safe. You too. Holy Grail. Find a way of breaking out of here. Maybe we should just ride this out. You think they're gonna let us go? Oh, they're wearing masks. I let you go to the bathroom. What the hell if I know? No, this has this has everything to do with the merger it has to, right? Yes. Right, so why would they let me to go so that I could blow up everything they did while they held us hostage? I got a good point. So, how? What's your plan? We gotta figure it out. Well, we gotta get these off. No sudden moves, or I empty this gun in your back. What do you want? Keep your hands on the steering wheel. Don't try me. It won't end well for you. What do you want? Information. What? Where is Bridget and her husband? Who? Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. <laughs> now let's go for a drive.
Hi. You looking for somebody? No, no. I. I thought I, I thought I left my phone around here somewhere. Let's just stop playing games, okay? What do you mean? You're looking for Miranda. No, 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 no. I, I was. Stop. That was me being nice. Hand over your phone. I won't ask twice. What's your passcode? There's one. Let's see if we have any unsafe numbers here. Look at that. Come with me. You, you'd be fucked. And this thing is way bigger than either you or I. I don't worry about the odds too much. That makes me dangerous. And the fact that I'm trained and skilled beyond any of you fuck boys is another advantage. Not to mention, you don't even know I exist. Oliver. What? Oliver. He's the guy behind it all. He's the guy with a plan. He's the guy with the money. Oliver, huh? Yeah. So, are you saying I don't need you anymore? No. No, 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 no. That is, no. Who's gonna get you in and out of everything? Who, who's gonna lead you to the hostages if anything happens? Listen, man, you need me and you know you do. here too. Say hello, May. <laughs> May, are you okay? As long as you play along, she's got nothing to worry about. Where are you? I'm not sure. Well, you better figure that out fast. I don't know how. Well, if you want your friend to be okay, you better start figuring that out pronto. I don't know how. Are you inside? Yes. Okay, go to a window. Look outside. It's them. They have me. Hey! None of that shit. What? Don't think I'm stupid. Do you want to see your friend hurt? Don't touch her. Okay, then. You're gonna listen to everything I say. I see a street and cars parked. Okay. Do you see any street signs? Not from here. Are you alone? Yes. Right now, yes. Okay. Get out there as fast as you can. Once you get to a street, call me. And Miranda, your friend's life is in your hands. Do you understand me? I understand. I'll hurry. Good. 
I'll get you somewhere safe. Nobody home. So now what? Where are they being held? Come on. I know you're not too bright. I didn't know you were deaf. A warehouse just outside of town. And how many men? Two. Show the way. Who are you? Drop your weapon. Detective Sharp with the police department. We got a call. If you don't drop that weapon, I will kill you. Show me your badge. Right there, see? See that? I don't believe you! I'm here to help, but if you don't drop that weapon, I will kill you. Oh, he's with the cops, okay? No, please! Please, we were kidnapped. We just got out, we were in there. There's somebody in there, I shot her. It was self-defense, I promise, I promise. It was. Yes. Mark! No! If you ever want to see your daughter again, shut your mouth. Help me! Please! Someone! Okay, guys. Do we all know what to do? like it, but I'm, yeah, yeah. Oh, Sydney, you don't have to do this. You know, you can leave. I would love your help, but I, I know it's dangerous, and I totally understand if you walked. Nah, I mean, I'd hate myself if I did die, you know? Besides, I've never really done anything heroic, so I think it'll make me feel a little bit better. Poor Steph. <sighs> this all depends on you. You have to get him out of the car. If you can't do that, then we're all screwed. Yeah. I don't... I got this, right? Do this.
Venga. Ándale, ándale. Come, 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 come. Show me that they're okay. You want me to make an example out of her? Check him. Grab his wallet. Give it. Hands on your head. Hands on your head. Fuck. Stand up. All right. Let's go inside. Nice and slow. Shit, this is not good. Looks like an eye for an eye to me. I guess we're done here. Hands up. Talk. Can we start? At the beginning, I guess. Can we get started? Give in a couple of hours. It should be ready, but you won't. Mm. You need to get your body temperature down and induce medical coma. We need to get started. Just uh, let me make a few calls. We need four to five hours to prep you, Oliver. We definitely need to get started, like now. Absolutely, just let me make a few calls. I'll be right back. Did we get all of this guy's information? Yes, we are securing offshore accounts in his name right now. Okay. I guess I should say your name. John Michael Willis. John Michael Willis. Now you're getting it. I'll be right back. She wish she was that easy. Why isn't it? I can't just walk away. Charlie is dead. And I got a bad feeling Sam is dead too. 
And that leaves Oliver and whoever he's with. And from what he tells me, he can look like anybody. So how the hell am I supposed to have peace of mind? Just d disappear, that's all. <laughs> Just disappear. We're hundreds of millions of dollars can't reach. But I don't know, why would he care? Because I know. Yeah. I know. We know where Oliver lives, where he works. But we don't know much about this kidnapper. But this fucker does. I don't know much about him. He, uh, we got a sign together. You smell that? No. It smells like bullshit. You really expect me to believe that you'd hire a team, you don't have synergy with individuals? They don't know their roles. They don't stand their lanes. Sam. Sammy. I'm not fucking stupid. Oh, man. His name is Carter. He's ex-CIA. I've done two extractions with him. Happy? Two, no, I'm not happy. Two extractions. And where is Carter now? Last I knew, he was staking out her friend's place. I'd say that's pretty goddamn obvious, since he has them both. And I'm not so sure I should believe in this bullshit about you not having a FUBAR location. Because that also smells like bullshit. I don't know what to tell you. All right, little boy, keep your mouth shut. I guess we can wait or storm a heavily guarded mansion. I vote wait. Let's drop the subject down another two degrees, okay? And then let's slow the heartbeat and the breathing down at least another 20%. I'm on it. I need benzodiazepine stat and start morphine phase two. Next, we need the ice packs, okay? Let's lower both of them down, all right? To like 15 degrees Celsius. And hold them there, please. Let's hold them down, okay? Okay, Magnus. Ready? If I ever was. I don't know, maybe waiting was a bad idea. Maybe we need to... Hello? Who is this? It's a friend of the family. Huh. Well, you're gonna want to do exactly what I say. Well, I think we have things to talk about here. It's your dad. Tell him we need to talk. It's military, we lost her. Hey, it's me again. Okay, what do you want? A trade. Get your little boy back, and I get me and Bridget. <laughs> <laughs> nice try, but no deal. You sure? No! Ah! What about now? Ah! Listen, pendejo. You can have the girl, but I'm keeping the lady. She's worth $400 million. Okay, deal. We meet in a public area. I'll call you back in 10 minutes. Yes? Ah, Sophia. Please. Yeah, thank you. May I ask what this is regarding? It sounded urgent. Well, I haven't been able to reach Jeremy. Magnus or Oliver. Of course, Bridget's still missing. So, yeah, I'm worried. Well, yes, I would be as well. Well, would you happen to know where any of them are? Uh, I can call him, but it is possible that he's just busy. 
I already called. We have an entire dual unit missing. Would you happen to know why that is or where it might be? It seems that Magnus and Oliver checked it out for testing. No, sir. No, I don't. Now, if you're trying to insinuate something, let me remind you. I have been a longtime supporter of Bridget, and I have been here longer than any other Sophia, scientist. I have sat... No, I'm not insinuating anything. Nothing at all. Hell, at least you're here. And that tells me a lot, but I still need to figure out what's going on. I... I can't think of anything that could possibly be of any use. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Anything turns up, please don't hesitate, okay? Of course. Of course. Sir? Mm. Are we in danger? Okay! What now? They both go on three. They both walk separate and turn back to back when they pass each other. Okay. Don't fuck this up. We're not done yet. Shut the fuck up. Do as you're told. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Walk. Nothing linking us to the apartment, so we should be safe here. Which means you two stay put from now on. What about my mom? The more she knows, the more we risk her safety right now. Now she's reported you missing, so there's likely active duty officers at the house. She should be all right. What about my mom? I still need to figure that part out. I'm gonna need to see David again. That could be risky, so... We're gonna need to come up with a plan B if I'm caught. Or worse. You got this, Corey. Unfortunately, you have to rest a little while longer, sweetheart. All set. Now, we wait. Thank you, Magnus. We could have done this without you. I'm, uh, I'm curious. I mean, I know why I did it. What about you? My wife, she passed on cancer. I mean, it spread. It was everywhere. This, this right here, this would have saved her. Sorry. <sighs> Hopefully that won't happen to anyone else. That makes this go a little bit easier. Go see your wife, Magnus. She's waiting for you. Charlie is dead because of her! Charlie's dead because of you. You and your fucking friend. You think you're so perfect, don't you? You think you're so damn smart. Being born with a silver spoon in your mouth, you don't know what it's like to go without. Huh? I wasn't born with a silver spoon in my mouth. I... I was born poor. You should have done your homework. <laughs> I often didn't eat other than what they fed you at school. When it wasn't a school day, I did without. See, my father was an immigrant. And he worked his ass off to make changes so that we would have a future. 
And he knew that if he just put everything he had into education, that eventually everything would be okay. You know what he didn't do, though? He didn't compromise his character. Do you know what that means, or would you like me to explain it to you? Your mother, Teresa, over here? Yeah. I said, don't talk to her. Let her be. You want to adjust my character? How is this for character, huh? Huh, Smarty? Looks like I hit a nerve, didn't I? Just a bullet. There's a bullet right in her right now. Carter. Walk it off. So today, before we adjourn, I just want to say how pleased I am that we were able to... In Bridget's absence, we were able to pass a vote holding off on the merger. And you know, William would be so proud to see how we conducted ourselves in challenging times like this. And I, for one, I'm damn proud to stand with all of you. So once again, thank you. That's all I have. Still missing. Any leads? Just the men Sam used, but they're hard to trace. Where's Oliver? That's the odd thing. He's gone. And before he left, he and our top scientist Magnus checked out a dual unit, fully operational. And Magnus isn't at work today. Have a bit. So you're saying they checked out medical equipment? Mm -hmm. Fully operational. And they can switch their brains. Mm hmm Yeah. Jesus Christ, and you can't trace that. All we have are their signatures. But I called security, and they're pulling up surveillance to see if we can identify the truck they left in. Find the truck, find the gear, and that will lead us right to them. Yeah. Do you want to come with me to security? Sure, why not? <clears throat> you want to knock all the guards this time? Sam, we can't hold it forever. We're going to figure something else out. Yeah, I know. What about their company? They pay. Maybe. The other company? I'd rather see her dead. Hmm. <laughs> Somebody else wants to see you dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can see that. This David guy. David? Who's David? Yeah, um, I went to his house with Oliver. He seems to be close with the family. It's worth a shot. Should I pay them a visit? Oh, yeah. I'll text your address. There. I'll be damned. How do we trace that? Well, it's one of ours. They all have homing devices on it, so it shouldn't be too hard. Let's check this out. If we could uh, just take a look here. Should be able to locate all of our trucks. There, there, that's gotta be it. Where is that? Looks like the storage place down by the freeway. Okay. 
Let me check it out. No, we gotta call in the police. Who knows what we'll find when we get there? No, there's no time. No police. That could get messy. If I can't bring her back safely, then you call the police. But give me the chance. Okay. You have tonight. Tomorrow I call in the police. You're a good man, David. I go home, get some rest. down here and uh, I didn't sign off on any night work. Uh, I'm just helping them out here. Helping them with what? Do you have a badge or something? Yeah. Here's my badge. Now what are you working hey, on? Hey, I'm just helping them move equipment. Open the door. Go. On. What are you doing here? I'd like to ask you the same thing. I have permission and clearance to be here. Do you? I say, I call the police and they can sort this shit out. Wait, hold on. Let's talk. Sure. Location B stat. What should we do? I'm not sure. But the longer it goes on, I, the less safe we are here. Hold on, hold on. It's coming. We know that Oliver and this Magnus guy are both in on it. They likely brought in mercenaries to grab Bridget. I'd say it's likely they still have her. She's worth money alive. Not so much dead. I also ran into some people in a storage facility. They turned a unit into a medical science room. I'm starting to think that this whole thing is too big for us. I think it's time to call in the police. You think my mom's still alive? Yeah, I do. How do we know the police are not in on it? I mean, May, she had a shady detective at her place. I just, I don't know what to do right now. Hello. David tells me you can get shit done. Is that true? Depends. I'm not great with balloon animals and I don't do clowns. Gringo, pendejo. Mira, I have Bridget and David. I don't give a shit about anything but money. I want two million dollars today and you can have them both. Where the hell am I gonna get that kind of money? Not my problem. Make it happen. I'll call you after the bank's closed today and we can work this out. But I... Slow, my love. Don't rush. Come to me when you're ready. I'll be here. You sure about this? No. Well, what are we gonna do? We can't keep these two here forever. Besides, they've seen our faces. 
You're right. There's not a lot of options left. So you're gonna call you want me to? I got it. Hello. Hey, did you get the money yet? Maybe. Not sure. May maybe? What the fuck? Do you want to see these two motherfuckers alive again or what? Honestly, I don't know them. You're talking to a homeless guy and a hooker that got wrapped up in this shit. We did the best we can. Okay. Packard plant. 10 o'clock. Come alone. You fuck around, these two fuckers are dead. Packard plant, 10 p.m. Copy that. You bring them both. Hello. Are you here? Yes. Alone? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> the money? Yes. Where are you? I'm inside. You'll see me. Stay put. Let's rock. some business with you. You wanna play you wanna play fucking games? You wanna play fucking games, huh? Alright, we'll play fucking games. Who's it gonna be? Is it gonna be her? Or is it gonna be him? Who's it gonna be, motherfucker? Her? Or him? Oh, Are okay. you hurt? Are you hurt? He's okay. No, we'll I'm done. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. 
Oh, Miranda! Oh. I got you. I got you. Bridget, got a minute? Sure, John. What can I help you with? I'd like you to meet Joanna. She just started where Magnus left off, and she's excited to be on board. Well, welcome. Thank you. I look forward to getting to know you better. We'll go over more next week, give you a chance to get acclimated. I look forward to it. I have heard so much about 